Peace. What's going on? What's happening? It's D minor L here. Dave L. Whatever you want to call me, David. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the first broadcast of Crypto Walk. That's right, y'all. Crypto Walk is going down right now. Look, do me a favor before we get started. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. All right. That way we can keep the wheels going on the on the uh on the on the algorithm, you know. Keep this thing spinning. Make sure the whole world see what we got going on here. We got a whole lot of good information to give. So I'm gonna give a few people a chance to come on in and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing jumping. And by the way, go ahead, grab you a pen and a piece of paper. If you're new to the crypto space, you're new, you're new to blockchain, go ahead, get your pen and paper ready, because I got I got some information for you tonight that you do not want to miss out. We're going to talk about this blockchain, but we're also going to talk about some blockchain facts that I think that a lot of people, you know, they think that blockchain is not making noise out here in the world. Blockchain making a whole lot of noise. And blockchain has been making a whole lot of noise around the world for a long, well, for a pretty good long period of time. And uh, to be honest with you, the world already, they already got a nice little jump start on you. You know, the, the financial districts, agriculture, you know, retail, all of that. They already got a nice little head start on you. So you might want to jump inside the race. So go ahead, get your pen and paper, and let's get it. If you got your pen and your paper, say I, or put a yes, a Y in the comment section. And I appreciate you all tuning in. Hey, look, the Smart Systems family appreciate you all tuning in because your energy is most definitely welcome. All right, family. So, what is blockchain technology? All right, so I'm gonna just make it real simple, and we I'm explaining every portion. Blockchain technology is a secure ledger. It's a secure and private but transparent ledger, and it is highly encrypted. All right, and it's held on thousands of nodes and networks. And computers right so if you got your pen and paper right I'm gonna get you to draw something so put a little circle for you right you want to transfer your money so draw the drawn arrow from you to your money right draw arrow from your money to maybe like a little signal uh, icon, you know, draw a little signal icon, right? Because that's what that's what's going on. You're sending your money into a system, and it's turning it into a hash or a block, all right? So now you got your dollar sign, your money going to the signal. Your signal now has turned into a block. So draw a little block. So from your signal to your block, right? So that block is a ledger that has thousands of other people that are trying to do the same thing that you're doing. They want Bitcoin, they want Sidecoin, they want Algorand, they want uh, Ethereum, um, you know, Polygon, Dogecoin, Shibacoin, whatever, right? All right, cool. So from that block, right, draw an arrow going to a real big block, right, and draw like a little squiggly line in between or something like that, meaning that, you know, the block is trying to be read 
by the node or the network. Okay. So what is happening is that the network is now trying to read the transaction. Okay. It's no longer, you know, um, David wants Bitcoin in the, in the system. It's we want to turn this money into Bitcoin. So the node is going to read the block or the hash that you have that is signaling that you want to turn your money into cryptocurrency. Right. So what happens is once it read it and it makes sure that it's not corrupted or none of that, you know, it's not a malware or anything like that. Then the node says, OK, come on, you safe. You can come on. You can join the rest of the blockchain. And that's how the network works. And now you have received your cryptocurrency. And that's it. Now, if you want to get your money back, then you just reverse the process. You just tell the system, okay, I want to turn my Bitcoin in cash, reverse process, back to a hash, back to cash, back to you, right? So that's how that works, all right? But meanwhile, this ledger is public but private. Remember, I said there is no more, you know, Sue wants Bitcoin, James wants Bitcoin. You're now a number on the blockchain in the blockchain space, right? So nobody knows that Sue went over here and bought some Bitcoin, okay? So that's where your privacy comes in at. But the ledger can still be read that Sue sent Bitcoin to John, but it's not going to say Sue sent Bitcoin to John. It's going to say uh, uh, wallet number BTC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sent uh, 50 Bitcoin to BTC 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 16, 18, 20. T, 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 C, right? That's what it's going to say. And that's how it works. So what makes blockchain secure? Blockchain is secure because, um, once again, it is private. But it's also decentralized. Decentralized means that you don't have a third party that can dig in and take their share or dig in and take all the money or you know whatever right so it's incredibly hard to hack because one the blockchain moves like this it moves very fast Okay, that's for one. For two, what keeps it secure is the fact that it is being the transactions are happening on thousands of nodes, thousands of networks and computers are running at the same time. So if a hacker came in, a hacker will have to literally hack all thousands of those networks. All thousands of, of those nodes and computers. So, boom. You have security, decentralization, and then you also have transparency, where once again, everybody can see the ledger and read the ledger. You follow me? So, um, and, and, and don't get it twisted. 
blockchain is not just dealing with cryptocurrency. Blockchain is the new software of our time. You have various countries that are looking into utilizing blockchain for voting. Why? Because it's secure and transactions can only happen one time on the blockchain. One time only. So once you put in your vote, that's it. V chain, another cryptocurrency that is used for retail suppliers to count inventory. Okay. Once you count your inventory, that's it. It's not manipulated. It can't be changed. No, none of that. You follow me? This is why the world has spent over 550, well, would have spent over $552 billion on blockchain technology by next year. So before we get into our next section, I'm just going to do a real quick rundown because it's very easy. Blockchain technology is the software that backs cryptocurrency. It is transparent. It is decentralized. It is secure, transparent, because everybody can go and read the ledger, but it's private with no names, decentralized, because there is no third party that could come in and steal your money and secure because it's highly encrypted and backed by thousands of nodes. So once again, various softwares that I've named or cryptos that I've named, VeChain, VeChain, which is a cryptocurrency for uh, you know, retail companies or anybody that want to keep maintain, you know, inventory, maintain count. Only going to be counted one time. Sidecoin. That's another good one. And I hope y'all writing these down. Sidecoin. Sidecoin is a cryptocurrency that is uh, for cold storage in competition with cloud storage secures your storage secure your storage right then you have um uh steam it which is a cryptocurrency that is decentralized uh, social media, blockchain, social media, civic coin, used for ID, telecoin, used to bridge the gap between telecommunication companies and blockchain technology. Ethereum, the Walmart of blockchain technology, the silver of the game. If you want to be honest about it, Ethereum is the silver of the game because a lot of cryptos, they use Ethereum. They use the ether space. And when we get into our other sessions, we're going to talk about use case 
and industry disrupting technology a little bit more. So let's get into our facts about the blockchain, because I think a lot of these facts are going to blow your mind. And I actually have 45 blockchain facts that will really make you think. Um, so let's get started. All right. So the financial sector currently accounts for more than 60 percent of blockchains worldwide market value. The technology is spread to other sectors as well as well. Uh, manufacturing, 17.6 percent. Distribution and services, 14.6 percent. Public sector, 4.2 percent. Infrastructure, 3.1 percent. So, manufacturing companies, distribution and services, and infrastructure are already accounted for 60% of the blockchain's worldwide market value. That's pretty significant. By the end of 2018, about 90% of the U.S. and European banks and financial institutions would have begun exploring adoption of blockchain technology. So, whoa. Was it your bank just hating on cryptocurrency? Weren't they just saying something about don't get no cryptocurrency? But uh, they already been exploring it since 2018. Wow. The financial sector leads the way in terms of investment in the blockchain technology during 2018. Financial institutions spent about five hundred fifty two million on blockchain powered projects. Financial institutions have spent about 552 million on blockchain power projects. That's pretty steep. The cost of transactions using blockchain are millions of times cheaper than transaction costs in a traditional economy. So let's talk about that for a little bit. It might cost you three or four dollars to touch your cryptocurrency. I mean, to touch your physical cash just to get out of the ATM machine. At the corner store, it costs you, those guys be like, you got to spend $3 <laughs> just to swipe your card. And then to turn around and charge you 50 cents just to swipe your card. But the cost of transactions using Blockchain are millions of times cheaper than transactions cost into in the traditional economy because it literally costs pennies on a dollar to send Bitcoin from one place to another. Pennies on a dollar to send Tron from one crypto from one crypto wallet to another. And, you know, uh, Ethereum can be a little picky, you know, tricky sometimes because of the gas fees. But even that is getting better. But, you know, when I first started dealing with um, Ethereum, Ethereum was like change on the dollar to move as well until the network started getting, you know, kind of bogged down, but they've been working on solutions for that. 
Nothing is perfect. Blockchain could reduce investment banks' infrastructure costs by 30%. So what bank wouldn't want to reduce the cost to keep more money? I mean, a lot of these companies, they want to keep their money. They hardly even want to pay their employees. So, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, hold on one second. Oops. All right, so let's move forward. According to a survey of eight banks by Accenture Consulting, the potential savings on a cost base of $30 billion are more than eight, excuse me, a cost base of $30 billion are more than eight billion, are more than eight billion. The potential savings on a cost base of 30 million are more than 8 billion, 8 billion. Okay, I got you. By the end of 2024, it is expected that the blockchain market will grow to 20 billion in annual revenue. That's two years from now. The blockchain still has a whole the blockchain is still a baby if you trade forex right you know that the whole forex market is worth is at the value about what six billion seven billion last time i checked the crypto space value is about 1.7 billion So it's still a baby and has a whole lot of growth to go. And when it comes to blockchain technology market size, a recent report suggests that it, it that it will reach 7.59 billion by 2024. That's a compound annual growth rate of 37.4%. Such a rapid market growth is explained by an increased demand for this technology across all industries from financial services through consumer and industrial goods all the way to the media telecom transportation healthcare, and public services there's this crypto i think it's called uh smart key where the blockchain technology makes it to where emergency vehicles can reach um, or have easy access to uh, gated communities um, is technology behind you know um, you know blowing to get into your car if you't been drinking all types of stuff. Telecom, I just told you. Telecoin, you might want to watch out for them because that is a crypto that is going to bridge the gap between blockchain and telecommunications. So, Tron, perfect example, is one of those cryptos that actually um has to deal with samsung all right so 80 86 percent of tech savvy executive team surveyed by deloitte Del said they believe there's huge business potential in blockchain technology an even higher number of business leaders responded that this technology is scalable and that it will eventually become mainstream. 
survey author Linda pa Pasuk <laughs> argues that blockchain is a versatile technology that can record financial uh, transactions, store medical records, or even track the flow of goods and information and payments through supply chains. That's VeChain. And did you know that over in Africa, they're using Cardano to track um, students' performance in school? So that's another cryptocurrency you might want to take a look at because Cardano is a very high powered cryptocurrency and it is said to be soon competing with Ethereum. I'm ready to see what that's going to look like because I am a Cardano investor and I am a Cardano enthusiast. 24% of companies participating in blockchain surveys said they would invest from five million dollars to less than 10 to eh, to more than 10 million in blockchain technology during 2021 so that's pretty significant we already about halfway through 2021 so on an individual level you really do not want to be on blockchain technology. You really want to be getting in where you fit in. Like getting in position. When you jumping in the blockchain and everybody already talking in, talking about it, you might be kind of late to the party. But it's still a whole lot of room for you to make a whole lot of money. Bitman a Chinese company that produces integra integrated circuit chips for crypto mining is considered the largest blockchain organization in the world. Bitman was valued at 40 to 50 billion in early 2021. How are these companies in all of these various countries, these banks, I mean, how are they putting up these numbers? like they are, but they've been telling everybody, no, 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 no crypto, no crypto, no crypto. But how are you telling the masses no and you putting up 40 to 50 billion in 2021? Coinbase is valued at $8 billion. Robinhood valued at 5.6 billion. Ripple Crypto Network valued at 5 billion. EOS uh, 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 valued at 4 billion. Circle valued at 2.9 billion. Binance valued at 2 billion. Now, here's where things get interesting an increasing number of food companies and retailers are experimenting with the blockchain technology. So, by doing so, that would help them track, um, you know, when something is tainted, that'll help them be able to track that tainted meat down. And its origins. Uh, Walmart has partnered, partnered with Nestle, Dole. Unilever and Tyson Foods to implement blockchain in the food industry. Statistics show that blockchain implementation could generate 700 million in increased productivity in one pilot project. Blockchain made it possible to trace individual mangoes back to the farm in 2.2 seconds. See what I just said? So now you got food safety with blockchain technology. Walmart says that without blockchain, it would take more than six days to identify the original origin. 
a European retailer kept for is the first company on the continent to introduce blockchain for food products. The company believes that the technology will rev revolutionize its supply chain, helping raise $5 billion in organic food sales in 2022. It's the smart thing to do. What did I say earlier on in the lessons? Secure. Decentralized. Transparent. You can't beat it. The global market of blockchain and food and agriculture market is estimated to reach $1.4 billion by 2028. More than $270 billion in assets have been distributed in blockchain transactions. So countries trust in blockchain because you got countries that are moving to making cryptocurrency their uh you know their 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 national currency banks food companies telecom telecom co companies retail companies i'm just saying and the people trust crypto enough that they are willing to put 270 billion dollars in blockchain transactions as of february 2021 there has been 600 12 million blockchain transactions. That's a whole lot. The crypto market, the blockchain technology is not, I'm telling you, like get it outside of your mind that crypto that cryptocurrency that money is that's all that is to it because that is not the case this is google this is apple in its early days I missed the Google wave. I missed the Apple wave. I missed the Amazon wave. <laughs> I'm not missing the crypto wave. It's not going to happen. I want my piece of the pie. Definitely. And you should too. The percentage of companies that have already implemented blockchain technology is largest in consumer products and manufacturing. Life sciences industries, including biotech, medical devices, and pharma take second place with 23% of companies already use a blockchain. So just imagine how blockchain technology could save somebody's life that you know, that's on that pacemaker. Don't nobody know that that pacemaker is not doing its job. And that that person's heart is not beating like how it's supposed to. Unless they go see a doctor or they don't pass out. But blockchain is sending data. So they able to look at it like, okay, well, you know, we consistently seeing we got some problems. We might need to, you know, turn this thing up some more. I don't know, but I don't know how pacemakers work. But I'm just saying, 
You got medical companies that are looking. See, I didn't know that. There are social networks that run on blockchain. Steam it. S-T-E-E-M-I-T. Steam it. A blogging network that rewards users for posting and curating content. And you know what? I've been procrastinating. I'm setting up a steaming account tonight. How about that? Yeah. The network base coin is called Steam Coin. Every time a user uploads articles or posts comments, he or she is rewarded with the network's native coin <laughs> token. Oh my goodness. So you're going to pay me in crypto for posting? I won't get paid on Facebook to do that. So at the time of the writing of this of this article, right? Um, Steam it was valued at uh, eighteen cent, and I would actually like to go and see the um, the current value of it. You know, uh, myself. Um, so yeah, hey, if you got your pen and paper like you supposed to, do me a favor. Write that down. Go to coinmarketcap.com and put in Steam Coin. S T E E M Coin. And go to Steam It and make you an account ASAP so you can start earning Steam Coin. There are more than 63 million blockchain wallet users as of December 2020. So, I mean, we could keep going on and on and on and on and on with these facts, family. Right? And I hope that I've given you all a good little bit of facts where you would take note Go and do some research for yourself and see how this technology could really help you grow and, and, and you know, build wealth for yourself and your family. You know, cryptocurrency is most definitely an asset and a store of value. It may, you know, it may go up and down sometime. It may have it, you know. You may have a little some red days every now and then, but like I said, there is not anything on this planet that is perfect. And don't put in more than you can afford. You know, save a little bit. You know, take about fifty dollars at a time, put it on in there. Get you some XRP. Get you some XLM. Hint, hint. Get you some Ethereum because last year, about around this time, Ethereum was worth about, I'd say, hmm, 300, maybe 400 something dollars to about in between the 200 to 400 dollar range. Well, Ethereum right now is worth. Two thousand six hundred something dollars. Last time I checked, today. So, I'm just saying, get in where you fit in. I'm gonna give y'all a few more of these facts, and then we're gonna tap on the body here. All right. Blockchain investments was up by two hundred eighty percent in the first three quarters of two thousand eighteen. So who? is ahead of the game on you. Who did that? 208% in the first three quarters of 2018 compared to the whole 2017. Who did it? 
Well, according to one report, blockchain and crypto startups raised 3.9% billion through venture capital investments before the beginning of quarter four 2018 the average size of blockchain investment has increased by more than 1.1 million dollars during 2018 capital investments that sound like business owners to me get in the game Get in the game. I'm telling you, this is not rocket science. You don't have to be a genius. None of that. You ain't even gotta. You ain't even gotta know it all. What you need to know it all for? Get your feet in the door and learn as you go. Gaming. You ever got paid to play a game? I don't think so. So that's another thing. According to Blockchain Predictions by Brooke Pierce, an American entrepreneur with rich experience in digital currencies, the future of blockchain growth will be pushed by D apps, store, and gaming industries. Well, it's already games that you could play. I know this one game. It's called Crypto Bites, where you can farm. You literally running a farm on a game, and you're getting paid in crypto for real for playing a game for your products and services on the game. I'm still trying to, you know, I'm still trying to learn how to play it, but I'm in there. <laughs> Look, if you want to learn more about the blockchain statistics, Google this 45 blockchain statistics and facts that will make you think the dawn of hyper capitalism. All right. And what's going to pop up is going to be the uh, fortunely uh, dot com that'll pop up for you. Uh, your first search resort resort res ugh, result. Click it and read those facts. All right. Look, we're going to be doing this crypto walk for the next eight weeks. All right. The next segment will be on Wednesday, same time, same place, 7 p.m. Right here with me. Mummy Mogul, smart systems. We got this. Make sure that you plug in and you don't miss this crucial information. All right. Because. This is some information that could really open your eyes and change your life. And not only that, we're going to be sharing some opportunities with you all as well. Um, you know, it's quite a few opportunities out here, but I'm not going to get into those opportunities until we get to the smart contract portion. So that will be either week two or week three. But you... Just make sure that you make the time to be here to learn. All right. So look, fam, that's my time. Thank you for being here. I enjoyed you all. Peace, love, and blessings. Y'all have a good night. D-Minor L, and I'm out.